Hi, I'm Derek Melbert, Technical Evangelist at Manage Engine. Today what I want to talk about is I want to talk about bulk user creation. Now in a previous video that you might have seen, I talked about bulk user creation when you just get a list of users and maybe some properties that you want to configure. Now what I want to do is I want to take it to the next step. And let's say for example that you can work with HR and you can get a file from HR. Maybe it's an Excel spreadsheet or maybe it's a, a common delimited file. So that file may look like something like this. So I have here a couple of files and this is a file that actually has the information that I need and I've worked with HR to make sure that the information that they provide for me gives me the information in the format that I want. So this is just a simple common delimited file and maybe what I do is I give the HR person a template and they fill out the template in Excel and then I export that into a common delimited file. Many ways and easy ways to get this file. Now if we were to try to do something like this using the built-in Microsoft Administrative Tools for Active Directory, there's very little that we can actually do with this. Um, because the tools that are built in really don't deal with bulk user creation in any way. Now you could create a script, you could maybe use PowerShell, you might be able to write your own um, interface for this, but that's going to take time and, and really you're going to have to do a lot of troubleshooting. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into our AD Manager Plus. I'm going to go to bulk user creation and simply import. I'm going to browse over to the file that we received from HR and I'm going to import that information. Now you can clearly see here that it's giving me a summary of what was brought in from that file. So this gives you the opportunity, if anything is incorrect, to go back and modify those. Now we, we really need this step because when we look at user information, there may be a middle initial, there may not be a middle initial, who really knows? So we have to make sure that it's, that it's going to be imported correctly. But it's nice to have this summary view before we get to that point. Now when I hit next, it gives me the opportunity then to choose which organizational unit I'm going to place these users in. So again, I want to import users based on where they're located in Active Directory, allowing me to basically review before the user is created and make sure that they're being created correctly. Now that I have the users and their properties, and I have where they're going to be located in Active Directory, I simply create users. And all the users from the file are now imported into Active Directory and we get a summary saying that they are created successfully. So if you can work with HR and simply get the information that you need into a nice comma delimited format, again we can have Excel to do this, we can use this in many different ways, getting the file from HR, now that we have this information in the right format, AD Manager Plus allows us to quickly import it, review it, place the users in the right location, and then we create the users in mass very efficiently, allowing us to do a multitude of users, not just one or two or three like we have here. We could do hundreds of users in the creation through AD Manager Plus. This has been Derek Melber. Thanks for watching.